guys hope you're all well uh, today I'm doing a little collab challenge with Deb over at Clay Boutique um, so we've uh, been set a challenge by another one of our Clay friends Lorraine and she picked for us purple and silver a donut shape and we have to use some form of chalks as a medium um, so that's the challenge we've been set so I'm going to use some Sony Opaline as my base uh, obviously I can cut a donut shape that's fine uh, I've got some uh, Brusho um, watercolour powder uh, these are pretty cool um, I'm hoping they'll stain the clay uh, once they've been activated but we'll see uh, I don't have a lot of purple uh, so I'm just going to use these watercolour powders and I'm also going to use uh, pan pastels uh, I've got a silver in here somewhere there we go I'm going to use my silver pan pastels uh, so that will be my chalk element so I'm going to go and condition this what I'm going to do is use a texture mat one of my new ones if you haven't seen the haul video and I'm just going to condition um, enough for this and uh, push a texture into the clay then put some purple on and then uh, brush over with some silver to highlight it and hopefully that'll work okay guys I'll go and get this conditioned and I'll see you in a minute okay guys uh, I know you can't see it very well I've put on some paper because this stuff gets everywhere uh, so I've just got my square of um, opaline and it's on a two setting I will back it on something later guys and I'm just going to put my texture stamp on and I'm just going to use my block uh, to make an impression um, I just find it easier with my hands to do it this way I can just give it a nice firm press then and not have to worry about it I think that'll be enough oh, if I can get it off come on there we go got a lovely impression yep you can see uh, now we all know that water doesn't mix well with some clays they go a bit sticky this will probably go a bit sticky but I am going to let it just evaporate off so it'll be fine uh, I've just got some water and I'm just going to spray not too much but get a coating on it and then this is where the magic starts with these watercolour crystals I'm just going to sprinkle some on and you can see already it's starting to bleed in and I'm just going to add a little bit more water now and I'll just let that do what it wants to do um, and then I'll uh, block the excess so I'm just going to let it run a bit through all those um, bits of pattern that we've got and get some in all the areas and I'm just gonna let it drain off let the excess drain off and that should now nicely stain my clay just gonna soak the excess I'm just going to let that dry off now guys hopefully the uh, colour will 
sit into the clay and um, give us a nice effect just going to get it to run a bit more there we go right I'm going to transfer this to a clean bit of paper uh, and just let it sit now and do what it wants to do just soak some of the excess up and you know you can blot it um, to get some of the excess off like so and it you know it has stained the clay which is what I wanted it to do I just wanted it to look a bit I don't know what the phrase is is it like batik um, but I'll just transfer this to um, another piece of paper guys and I'm just gonna let it evaporate off um, probably take 20 minutes or more so I'll see you in a min okay guys this is nice and dry now I just um, blotted it again with um, some kitchen roll uh, and it's fine and I've just got a nice mottled purple uh, I'm just I've just conditioned uh, this is on a zero and I've left it on my texture mat I've just conditioned this uh, for my back in so I'm just going to pop that down uh, let me find a little bit of paper and I'll just give this a little gentle stick this clay is really fresh so it's quite sticky I'm just making sure that that's pressed down to the back in there we go and I shall now peel this off the backing sheet and then just give it a gentle press again just so I know it's stuck to my worktop okay now what I want to do is I just want to highlight if I can find the silver I just want to highlight the um, raised bits with some silver just making sure it is the silver and not the pewter uh, I've just got silver uh, pan pastels here and I've just got one of my little sponges and I'm just going to pick a bit of the pastel up make sure it's pressed into the sponge then I'm not getting bits everywhere and I'm just going to gently go over the surface and highlight the raised pieces and I'm just putting not a, a massive amount of pressure on guys just a gentle pressure just to pick up those raised areas make it kind of look antique if that makes sense to you and I don't know how much of this I'm going to use so I will do the whole whole of it some bits have got a little bit flattened with me dabbing it but it'll be fine it all adds okay I think I've got all the raised bits now you can see that I'll pick it up in a sec and show you just making sure I've got a nice buff of this pastel on just put that to one side um, I can't pick it up and show you I'll cut it out first um, right donut now do I want to do a big or do I want to try and do something else with it 
maybe I will do a big one uh, circle cutter would help wouldn't it didn't think of that did I okay I'll get this circle cutter and I'll get my little circles out um, I think I'll do I don't know where to do it I'm trying to get a quite a bit of the whole of the funkiness let's do one here I'll just give it a spin to make sure it's gone through and I'm going to leave uh, my cutter in and it doesn't distort while I'm doing this one and let's just do it about there is that central okay so that's that so that's my uh, donut shape done and of course I'm not going to waste the rest of this so let's find another funky shape I can use um, um, um. I might be able to get two out of this, mount I? Let's see. I think I'll get, I could get a shield one out of this. Or maybe I get a long one out of it. If I do that there, can I still get a shield? No. Quite like this shape, you see. It's one of my favourites. Oh, that might just work. I'll cut this one. And then I should just get the shield one. If I sneak that in there. There we go. I'm sure I could make maybe a little bead or something with these other pieces. Oh, this is so squidgy, this clay. It is so fresh, it is ridiculous. Okay, let's get a piece of paper to bake on. Sorry guys, I'm just fiddling, trying to get myself a piece of paper out. Now I would like to dome that a little bit, but I don't think I want to mess with it too much. So, where's my knife? Uh, let's just get this picked up. Oh, and it has got quite a few. Oh, it's really soft, this clay. It's got quite a few um, crumbs, but with the clay being so soft, I just don't want to mess with it. So I'm just going to get them on this paper and worry about that later. Get that middle out. There we go. Right, let's just get these straightened up. I'll just run my nail around this edge. Just where I've distorted it a little bit with the blade, really. And that's fine. This one looks a bit bulbous. Let's just move it over a little bit. Get a little bit of paper and just give it a smooth round okay don't know what I did with that clean those edges with my nail a little bit so that's that one and this one is quite distorted so let's see if I can fix it better 
It's the only thing with this clay being so fresh. Okay, so we've got three pendants there and I've done me challenge with the door knot. You just go around that edge a little bit where it's raised. Okay, so we've got these. I'll get them in the oven. Kind of like a, I don't know, like a batik style, aren't they? Don't know what the word is. But I'll put these in the oven and I'll see you when they're baked. Hi guys, okay they're baked, there's the shield one, you see a lovely purple tint in there, I love this one because it's got that little bit there, so you can see the silver shine and then the subtle purple behind and of course here's our door knot, um, I'm not too sure what I want to do with these guys, I was thinking that I might. Uh, obviously I'm going to have to put a coating on. I mean I, ha I have buffed this and I don't think any would come off now because it's been baked on and buffed off. Um, but I think I'll just put some uh, varnish on these two. Um, but I think I'll resin this one. I think it might kind of help and add to the depth of it. Um, so, if I can find my resin, that is. I'll put it somewhere safe, as usual. Oh, it's behind me. So, yeah, I think I'll resin this. Um, it'll just add a bit of something, won't it? I'm just sticking it on one of my stands, guys. Uh, check out my resin video if you've not already seen it. And I'll just get myself a little bit of acetone. Just a little drop to clean my brush and wet my brush. I always wet my brush if you remember guys. And it doesn't add, oh, a bit of fluff on that. It doesn't add any um, bubbles then with a dry brush. Oh. So let's just put a bit of a coating on this. I'm just going to let it run around and do its own thing and then just drag it to the edge. I don't really want it domed if that makes sense. I just thought the resin would um, well protect it for one and uh, obviously uh, add to the 3D of the pendant if that makes sense. Let's make sure that it's got a core inside and then just take it around the edge gently just check there's no bubbles right I'll pop this in I may give it another coat guys because it's obviously like, oh we've got a Doris go away quick 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 go on down she always comes in when I'm doing something like this, doesn't she? Uh, yeah, I'll go and pop this in and I may give it another coat, guys, because the surface is a little bit uneven with the texture. So it might need a couple of coats just to flatten it out. Uh, so I'll go and sort this out and I'll see you in a min. Hi, guys. So that's all done. Looks beautiful. It's hard to really show you on the camera, but the um, UV resin has just given it a bit of depth if you like looks quite nice what I've done is I've got a bit of sari ribbon and I tied a couple of knots in it and stained it with some of the same brush or purple 
and I've threaded a couple of these uh, Tibetan charm style beads on because I thought it would work nice with that um, so I'm just going to put this on oh put the beads a little bit too low down I think let me just pull them up a bit they've got stuck behind I did this so I wouldn't be fiddling and now I'm fiddling Ooh. I actually think that would be better the other way around sorry guys bear with just let me move them beats up a bit then they don't get stuck start again I'll put it through that way no yeah that way that's better just looks better that way doesn't it so there we go just a really simple ethnic style pendant with a matching colour matching cord and I put some matte cernit on these just to seal them with it being water based it reactivated some of the crystals uh, they're fine now because the varnish has gone on and sealed them but more purple popped up how weird's that yeah so just be careful with what you're putting on it didn't do anything on that but obviously the water reactivated them right guys i'll leave it there thank you for watching uh, i'll leave a link to deb's channel uh, so you can go and have a look at what she made for the challenge um i'm gonna be laughing if we both come up with the same sort of thing because we do kind of think alike it's weird um so yeah there we go guys simple pendant purple and silver donut using some chalk pastels and i'll see you all in the next video bye guys <laughs>